Hi there, this is Haley Hogan, and I'm here with one of our post-construction Stormwater BMPs Masterclass Series speakers, Stephen Polk, talking about our upcoming five-session series. So Steve, your Masterclass Series is starting soon. Why should our audience sign up? Well, I'm excited about the program. It is something that I've been working on for several years now, trying to get this kicked off in a format that's going to work in the marketplace. And over that time, have assembled uh, what I think is an outstanding group of professionals as the faculty uh, for this program. We set it up specifically for practitioners uh, who are involved in post-construction BMPs in an effort to give everybody a um, well-rounded perspective on stormwater quality management. We're glad you're all joining us to present this new Masterclass series. Would you give us a little preview of what will be covered in the different sessions? Uh, we'll really be covering from start to finish on, uh, on a project, uh, starting with the first session, which will give everybody some uh, background on what's happened in this particular uh, market segment of stormwater quality, how it started and how we got where we are today and where we think uh, it may be going in the future, and then go into a more detailed discussion on green infrastructure one on design of stormwater BMPs, uh, one on the construction and the uh, soil science that goes into the BMPs, and then we end up with a program on inspection and maintenance of the facilities. Sounds like the perfect way to get all the post-construction stormwater BMP information for your site from start to finish. Tell us why it's important to meet stormwater regulations and what can happen if you don't. Well, I think it's important because it's required by the regulation. Federal, state, and local regulations uh, are now requiring that these facilities be constructed on land development and redevelopment uh, projects. So it is the law, and you are required to do it. Uh, what happens if you don't? You're subject to fines from the EPA, from your state in which the project is located, and and potentially from the, the local agency where you're building. And those can be pretty hefty fines, which are assessed on a per violation per day type basis. And they're in the tens of thousands of dollars. So it's important to have the facilities and to keep them functioning properly. I'm sure everyone wants to avoid those hefty fines. Well, that's all we have time for today. You can sign up for this five session post-construction stormwater BMPs masterclass series with our experts Steve Polk, Jeff Bruce, Gene Rovac, and Ted Hartzig at ForesterUniversity.net, as well as our library of 225 courses, or check out our other clips at our Forester University YouTube channel.